In preparation to install the Gleason valve, remove all the hydrant caps and inspect to ensure gates are centered. Next, use the acronym Good Brew to ensure gates are closed, bleeders are closed, regulator is set to zero, emergency shutoff is down, and the washer is present. Now, pick up the Gleason, balance it on the distal portion of your thighs, align the threads, and couple to the hydrant. Make sure it's spanner tight and then conduct a secondary check using the acronym GOODBREE to ensure gates are closed, bleeders are closed, regulator is set to zero, emergency shutoff is down. Charge the king valve by turning the wrench counterclockwise three revolutions and wait 10 seconds for the barrel to fill. Using the acronym KGO, open the king valve fully and don't back down. Next, open the gate valve, backing off a quarter turn. Now, flank out your first line. Check for washer in the quarter and close it. Attach it to the male end of the hose and ensure it's spanner tight. Check for washer. Attach the hose to the regulator side. Ensure it's spanner tight. Open the gate. Dial up the pressure to 120 PSI. Now it's time to flank out line 2. Check for washer. Close the quarter. And ensure it's spanner tight. Check for washer. Attach to Gleason. Ensure it's spanner tight. Dial down the pressure to 80 PSI. Open the gate, dial the pressure back up to 120 PSI. Close gate 2, bleed, and disconnect. Now throttle down the regulator, close the gate, bleed, and disconnect. Close the gate valve, and then the king valve. Bleed the Gleason and disconnect. Complete the hydrant by opening the gate valve and then recenter the gate. Finally, replace all hydrant caps.